What's going on everybody? Aaron Collins, drone pilot back again. I wanted to uh, take the time to show you about this uh, kayak trailer that I just put together for towing three kayaks. <clears throat> um, as you hear me talk about a lot, you know, the different kayaks that we have. Uh, take, you know, my dad and my kids and everybody else. And uh, was having an issue with uh, putting them on top of the car. So basically, I went and bought this uh, three and a half by five trailer. Uh, it's a utility trailer you can buy at Lowe's. Um, it had a little bit of damage to it on the front, so I actually got it a little cheaper. Um, and basically, I bought some lumber, and this is the initial setup. Uh, this is definitely going to change. I've not decided whether I'm going to use the PVC pipes in the center or not. Um, but I'm definitely going to put a fiberglass box on the inside of this. That way, anything attributed to the kayak, such as the seats, rod, uh, the, the rod holders, you know, possibly uh, can all go down in the bottom here. Also, a big cooler, like I, you see that I have in here now. I'm planning on putting a, a, a pretty large cooler in uh, to be able to transport fish in because. Um, I'm up in central Alabama and I like to go down to Florida and get the delicious ocean fish. So anyway, um, and the great thing about this, uh, I'm gonna have to check this out, but in the state of Alabama, I know if you have a boat trailer, you don't have to register it. And uh, I'm hoping I can get by by saying this is a, uh, a boat trailer, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna take it down to the to the tag office and see what they have to say about it um, but anyway yeah i just want to give you guys a quick walk around i did actually tow the boats i'm still waiting on a title from lowe's apparently they sold another trailer and they gave them the wrong title so basically i'm still waiting on that to come in but uh yeah this is my uh kayak trailer and like i said we did take it last weekend we took it sunday uh, out to the river and it did fantastic there was no issues whatsoever the only kind of downside about it is it's not you know all these trailers they have like different size um balls this one's like a one and seven eighths which i would just prefer like a two inch ball but you know it is what it is and also uh whatever the box or you you know that i put inside of here i'll probably end up um making it removable so that uh, I can move stuff out here at the house, you know, around the yard. Um, and just hook it to the lawnmower there. But yeah, um, so I'm into this thing minus all of these mounts. Um, I bought these uh, J-hooks at Dick's a while back. Uh, I think I got them for like, I was anticipating paying like $50 I think they had them on sale for like $20 a set. So I ended up buying two sets of them. Um, so I got the $40 in there and I think I bought those for about 40 or 50 in the center, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep those. And then the trailer I bought for 425 and you know, and then some lumber's relatively cheap, $4 a board, bought three boards. So anyway, um, if you don't, you know, take into consideration uh, the J hooks and everything, I'm in the trailer less than 500 bucks, um, but because I was already hauling the stuff on the car anyway, I already had the J hooks and the, the other ones there for the uh, other kayak, for the cradle, because the Hobie's got that funny shaped bottom. My other two up here, they'll sit pretty flat. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't have had to do that, but the Hobie's got that pronounced, you know, beam running down the middle. so. But anyway, this thing works out really good. Um, and I know I hadn't posted in a while and I really wanted to get a video out and show you guys what I've been up to. I'm definitely gonna record uh, building the box and doing the fiberglass on the inside of the trailer for sure. Um, so that be looking for that video that will be coming. Uh, I really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and checking the stuff out. Um, you know, if you want to look at this, I mean, it's relatively easy. Um, I know I post a lot of DIY stuff, but I mean, seriously, it's one bolt. I drilled through this edge railing right here. Uh, these are like four and a half inch bolts, just four of those, some washers. The only thing I did have to buy is these uh, cargo lock 
um, J hooks, the bolts that are with them aren't long enough. I had to go buy some, but I'm telling you, if you were to mount the, these are for like round bars or the oval style bars for your car, they fit perfectly on a two by four. I mean, it's insane how, you know, tight it is. Um, and as far as the fit is really perfect. Um, so they're super secure. Uh, I mean, they're extremely stable on here. It won't go anywhere. And I don't think I have enough hanging off the edge here to really even make a difference. But um, I had this uh, wilderness system, uh, 115, so that's 11 half foot boat um, on the outside. Uh, I carried the Hobie here and then the other green one over on this side. And uh, those things don't even really bend or flex those boards. Um, eventually I might go do a setup with, uh, you know, some round bars like that are on my, my car. But I mean, this, it works really well. I will be painting it um, and get that done too to kind of waterproof it a little bit. Heck, I might even end up fiberglassing them just to make them last even that much longer. Um, but yeah, gonna be building a fiberglass box for the inside of here. And I am definitely going to video how that's done. I'm by no means an expert at that, but um, we'll both be learning at the same time. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those good things uh, really helps. Uh, keeps me motivated and to uh, produce more content. Thanks.